Oh shit, so Chris Brown man, he ain't playing. My nigga went on his Instagram story and he captioned, I don't want to be accepted from none of the mainstream media and fake celebrities. I'm the king in my own lane. Your faith ain't got shit on me and they know it. Ain't find a tap dance for approval. You will beg forgiveness of me. Listen, that I do know. That's what he said. Listen, that's how he that's how he handed man. And I'm like, I'm this type of nigga who doesn't afraid to speak my mind. I feel like he's going at Usher in some part of this man because we even realized that Russia did Usher. Sometimes I call Usher Russia. I'm really sorry, man. Anyways, Usher did an interview with Breakfast Club. And he was like, oh, me and that man is cool. <laughs> when Charmaine or Mrs. Charmaine, uh, the god he said his name is, right? Asked him about Chris Brown and, you know, but she said he didn't ask or send out to feature Chris Brown on the Super Bowl. So we know that there's a tension between Usher and Chris Brown. Usher was just trying to keep it cool. We know that from the party, we realized that their relationship has been away. You know, people say that Chris Brown was drunk and he said some shit to Usher. And Usher is still mad at him because Chris Brown didn't apologize. And we hear that there's even more build up after that. So there's something going on, man. And I just feel like in my bones that some part of this is about usher man you know i cannot imagine anyone else who chris brown have beef with you know because chris brown ain't gonna talk about no low no low level celebrities some people who don't make sense it gotta be someone up at his level for him to take it that personal you know what i mean because come on man like i ain't gonna talk about no one who got a hundred subscriber man i'm gonna talk about niggas who got 60,000 subscriber people who have more subscribers than this channel that i have you know what i'm saying yeah so oh you can share your thoughts in the comment section man